mate. Ahoy, matey. Err. <laughs> and go fishing. <laughs> Our boys love fishing. I mean, they'll study it and research it and love going fishing. And they're not quite at the age where they can go alone yet. Um, John, you have to be there to help them with the um, the, the buoy bobber thingies. The, the buoy? You say buoy. The bobbers. And you have to help with the hooks. Bobbers, yes, and, and the, the hooks. hooks. And if the wire gets all twisted up in the fishing pole. Yes, I have to be there to help. So I wasn't going fishing with them. and. It was, it was, at the beginning it was kind of nice because I could stay home, they would be gone for a couple hours, I could get work done, I could get housework done. Um, but then I started realizing I was missing time with John and wanting time with you, right? Right, and we've probably been 10 times already, so. Right, so one day I decided to go fishing down at Lake Michigan. The pier is really a fun place to go fishing, and so I went. Um, it wasn't my idea of a super fun night. Uh, I remember at one point I had to use the bathroom and all they had was a porta potty and that was kind of gross, but I had to go. Um, and so I was sort of just sitting with John or um, he'd get up and help one of the boys with the wire, the, the oh fishing line. <laughs> Um, he would set their poles up for them and help them. So I was looking in the water and all of a sudden I saw this big fish swim by. And I was like, John, John, hurry, hurry! Exactly and what you want to do when you want to keep a fish nearby. Anyway, yeah. You scared it. It disappeared really quickly before John could see it. And so I was describing it, it had like kind of a long snout and it was like speckled. And so John's like, I think it was a northern. So then I was like, I want to catch that fish. So I got the pole and I I threw the line in um, and, you know, started reeling, reeling, in, reeling yeah. the line back in. And of course I didn't catch the northern that night, but um, I kept fishing and throwing the line in. And John, at one point you said... I said, uh, you do know you need a license to be doing this, right? So. And I was like, oh, well, no, you know, I didn't really know what a fishing license... I knew, I knew you got a fishing license every year, but I've never held a fishing license. So. And so I was like, well, I want to catch that northern, so I better get a fishing license. We planned a night where the whole family, we were going to go fishing at our local pond. So we go out fishing, and the first thing I caught was a tree. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's right. You don't need a license for that. I didn't need a license, but I threw my line back, and sure enough, caught it in a tree. So we found this little spot and we were fishing, and like I could see all the little bluegill, and they kept picking my bait off. <laughs> right? They would not hook on. But we got to spend time together and we did. That was a lot of fun. That was fun. Finally caught a bluegill. He was a pretty good sized bluegill. Um, that was really fun to be able to catch a bluegill. And so we've gone a few times now and it's just, um, even though I still don't like fishing, I go because I know it's an opportunity to spend time with John, to sit there. It's actually very peaceful. You know, the, the pond has a fountain in it and it's, it's just a peaceful environment where we're sitting there talking and enjoying each other's company. So we do get alone time. We do. It, it, uh, it meant a lot to me that you would take time to do something outside of your normal skill set and comfort zone and even your desire level right. to spend time with me. And that made me feel appreciated and loved and yeah. it was really... Uh... I've actually really enjoyed the, the ability to spend time together just fishing. Now it's time for Viewer Moments! We still didn't sound good together. Let's oh well. Go on. So what we did is we asked on Facebook, we said, what do you do with your husband or wife that you wouldn't normally do, but you do it because you know it's an opportunity to spend time together? So one is play soccer or watch soccer. And actually I've been surprised. A lot of watching sports. A lot of watching the, sports for the, the women. Ladies. Yep. Yeah. yeah, one was grocery shopping together. That's something that one doesn't like. Now, I loved the response from one of my friends. She said, camping, sitting in the woods. I was like, I totally relate to you because that whole just like, let's go and sit is difficult for me. And you love it. I love sitting, but well, you like relaxing. I can sit anywhere. All right, golfing, another one. Fantasy football was another one. She learned how to do fantasy football. You did that when we first got married. When we first got married, I did fantasy football with him. I remember. Like, I didn't know what I was doing. She likes the helmets. Yeah. This right? one's gonna, I want this one. He's got a nice helmet. Like, right. So, what do you do? 
to create moments in your marriage. Do you already do it or is there things that you think, oh, I could do that. So I would, uh, I would encourage you to step outside your normal routine and pattern to find uh, ways to spend time with your spouse or your mate. Ahoy, matey. Err. <laughs> and go fishing or something. Right. The question of the week is, what do you do to make your husband or wife laugh? So make sure you drop the comments below and let us know what you do to make... Are you trying to tickle me? Well, yeah, I'm trying to make <laughs> you laugh. Remember, the moments are what make a marriage. So go create a marriage moment. He wants you to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>